Hey guys, welcome to a brand new project. Today I'm bringing you guys what remains of Edith Finch. It's a game I've heard a lot about, but I haven't actually seen any gameplay or read too much about it actually. I just know that it was very well received. And it's one of those titles that I've had in my library for quite some time, but I haven't just gotten around to it. So I figured now that I am in a creative type of mood in this, uh, uh, in this headspace that I am in right now, I figured why not? Let's do it, shall we? It's a bite-sized type of project. I don't presume it to be very long. How long to beat has it listed for about 2-3 hours? Let's just see what we have here. Um, if you would like to open... Yes? No? Oh, never mind. JK. What happened to your hands? There you a go. A lot of this isn't going to make sense to you. And I'm sorry about that. I'm just going to start at the beginning, with the house. Stage is yours. Someone had put up a chain link fence, but it looked like I wasn't the first person to hop it. Oh, okay. The options, do we have anything for... Uh, I don't think we do. I was looking for subtitles, but let's go ahead and keep playing. I haven't looked at the... My brother Milton disappeared when I was four. It was like the house just swallowed him up. Uh... 11 years old. Huh. Interesting. So if we take a look at it, Milton, Milton, he was... Right there at the top. Lewis, Edith. Okay. I lived here until I was 11, but I wasn't allowed inside half the rooms. How so? What did they tell you? Inside the mailbox were bills from seven years ago, marked urgent, open immediately. Final notice. I hadn't been back since my brother Lewis's funeral. I see. That's cool. The game is actually quite gorgeous. In your will, my mother left me a key, but didn't tell me what it unlocked. Well, let's see what it unlocks. Maybe she thought I'd know. Or she thought that the mystery would be enough to bring me back. Maybe down here, maybe down there. But what's over here? Could be a roundabout way. I've driven this way in a long time. But I saw a few have prints. Any chance you could crouch or it's never gonna be required? Hey, buddy. Oh, wait. So maybe the goodie was back there. Maybe there is a goodie. Who knows? Maybe there isn't a goodie. The truth is. Even after I inherited the house, I never thought I'd come back to it. Okay, so let's quickly nip on back, shall we? Because I'm curious about that little path going down. Where the fuck was the sign, dude? Did I honestly go all this way? I must have. Yeah. Alright. I 
I mean, surely the game is gonna cut me off at some point, right? Look at all these missing posters. Huh. Like there were some people that didn't want to see him found. Interesting. As far as the length of these episodes, I'm not sure. I mean, I might go for an hour long ones. And then that means that we'll only have like two or three episodes or maybe four at the pace that I'm going. Uh, but maybe that's not a bad thing, you know? It all depends on how enjoyable the, the ride is. The house have always been uncomfortably silent. Oh. As if they're about to say something but never do. Ah, oh, I thought that was something. You can't fucking hoop here. Come on, man. Well, maybe you can. Although the asphalt is pretty freaking cracked. The house was exactly like I remembered it. The way I'd been dreaming about it. Really? Like the view As a child, the house made me uncomfortable in a way I couldn't put into words. But now, as an adult, as a 17 year old, I knew exactly what those words were. I was afraid of the house. With good reason, I presume. Oh, whoa, 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 that's a group! Crawling through the doggy door used to be a lot easier when I was 11. I didn't want to do all that, though. Could you please get back out? She... Come on, do it, do it, do it. Oh, she won't! The power had been turned off the night we left. I want to explore more. Damn it. Why did I do that? Doesn't matter. Okay, so what do we have in here? It's like a little baby pool. Or a kitty pool. For the first time in years. I felt like I was home. Ah, uh, yeah? But instead of a family, there were just memories of one. Like how after Lewis started working at the cannery, we all got sick of eating salmon. Except our cat, Molly. Flavors of India. Tastima, Thailand. Uh, flour, salt, water, yeast. Fanny Farmer Jr. Cookbook. The Book of Mushrooms. The Smoke in the Forest. Um, what does that one say? Can't quite... Hmm, can't quite see. Cosmic Cuisine and the Pleasure of Japanese Cooking. Or how only one restaurant would deliver to our house. Hmm. So we had Chinese a lot. The table was still a wreck from the night we left. It was like a bomb had gone off, killing everyone but sparing the furniture. What happened that night, though? Hello? My mom was the only one of us who could imagine Great Grandma Edie living in a nursing home. Oh, Nothing mom. in the house looked abnormal. There was just too much of it. Like a smile with too many teeth. Right. Didn't feel sincere, did it?
great-grandpa Sven built a music box for Barbara, along with the rest of the house. A lot of things got left behind in the whirlwind of that last night. My mom wasn't much of an optimist, but she never stopped believing that my brother Milton was alive. Hmm. A Viking's belly. The Nordic cookbook. Huh, I could go down, but let's After go. Milton disappeared, Mom sealed up all the bedrooms. Then Edie retaliated and drilled peepholes. Huh. Secrets of the stove. A lot of food related books y'all got here. Edie's father Odin built the original house. Barbara was a child star for two years until America grew out of it. And just like James Franco, she kept her props. Oh, I believe that's where you want me to go. Molly always seemed like a girl I could imagine being friends with. If she hadn't died in 1947. X, how did she go out? Uh, let's see. Ben? Sven and Edie. The last time I was in Edith Senior's room, I was ten and she was painting my portrait. Cute. Calvin. My grandpa Sam spent seven years sharing a room with his dead brother, Calvin. As a kid, I just assumed every house had peepholes and sealed rooms you weren't allowed inside of. Let's head downstairs real quick before we visit that one room. Oh, we could go up as well. Which we shall. Was there anything in here? No. But this door right here? Mom always told me to stay out of the basement, so I wasn't too surprised when the key didn't fit. Cool. We at least got that cleared out. And this one right here? We did check, right? No. Edie told me once that every finch who ever lived is buried somewhere in the library. Creepy. Okay, upstairs or this room right here? I spent a lot of time playing in Great Uncle Walter's room. I don't like the look of this. I think my mom sometimes regretted not sealing it up. Lewis told me there were secret passages, but I never believed him. Oh, I will be damned. Is it hollow? Turns out my mom was really good at keeping secrets. It is. Um. Now it was time to find out what my mom had been afraid of. From the paintings on the wall, it was clear my brother Milton had been here before me. Reading this, maybe it sounds like I had a plan. But I did. But I had no idea what was behind that door. <sighs> But 
Just like I had no idea where all this was going to lead. I grew up looking at Molly's room through the peephole. Molly's gerbil had a tiny bedroom with its own even tinier gerbil cage. Beast of Nature, Monsters of the Deep, Red Bug, Nine Lives, The Call of the Wild. Being inside for the first time, I felt like I'd stepped behind a painting. December 13th, 1947. Dear Diary, I'll be gone soon, but I wanted to tell somebody about what's gonna happen. It started when Mom sent me to bed without dinner. I woke up and I was starving, so I looked around for something to eat. Naturally, she went towards the gerbil first. The gerbil food was dry, but I didn't mind it. Gobble that motherfucker down. But it wasn't filling enough. Sushi? <laughs> My Halloween candy was all gone. Hmm, damn shame. So we have to sneak out. Mom, can I come out now? Sweetheart, it's late. Go to sleep. But I'm hungry. Eating and eating. Oh, wow. I ate a lot of things that night. I don't think you should do that. Then I heard chirping outside my window. It was a barn swallow going back to her nest. I reached out for her. But she flew away. And suddenly... Excuse me. I was me. a cat. Of course you were. I tried to be quiet, but the bird was really scared. I'm gonna get ya! You just wait. Hiya! Close, but no cigar. Mom and Dad didn't even look at me. Damn, really? I jumped and I almost got her. I wait, not I uh. <laughs> I could tell she was getting really tired. Now I was up in the big tree. I promised Dad I wouldn't climb it anymore. All I cared about was eating that mama bird. I gobbled her up. And suddenly, I was an owl. First, all I heard was the wind. Then I heard little teeth nibbling in the grass.
Did you know? Did we get anything? Rabbits. Where? Whoop. Fuck that tree, you're not getting away from me. I imagined his face looking up and seeing mine through my talons. I swallowed him up. And I didn't chew one bit. Then I flew off to find something bigger. Interesting. Oh. A mama rabbit. It's a wrap for you. Yeah. She was almost too big to carry. I started choking, but I couldn't stop eating. Jesus. And suddenly, I was a shark. What the fuck is going on here? This is fucking bizarre. I rolled off a cliff and into the ocean. Now, I was hungrier than ever. I wanted fat, juicy seals. Fuck. Everything had changed. My snake? Seems like that is the case. Now I was a monster and I smelled people everywhere. Interesting. This is cool. Jesus, this is nasty. Ah, uh, I can't actually move. What, what the hell? Can't I eat him? I ate him. Fair enough. This is awesome. What was she saying? Having a giggle, mate. After the last passenger, 
I was still hungry. And across the water, I smelled something new. Something I had to have. So I swam towards it. Was it Milton? I slithered onto the sand, and the good smell went into an old pipe. What? Isn't this her room? I got closer and closer. And then I realized it was my room. No? What you wanna do? Can we escape this room by... All of my stomach started growling. Oh yeah? And suddenly, I was me again. I held my breath for a long time, but I couldn't hear anything. I think it's waiting for me to fall asleep. But it's not going to wait much longer. It needs to be, and we both know. That's crazy. I'm not sure if I believed all of that, but I'm sure Edie would have. Alright, I think that's a pretty suitable cutoff point, actually. We explored Molly Finch's uh, story, I guess you could say. Next time around, we will continue on. I hope you guys enjoyed this one, man. I'm out of here. Love y'all. And deuces.